week in the Catholic Star Herald. School busing. Since the third grade, 17-year-old Katrina Frey of Wildwood Catholic Academy has been making the 12-mile journey from her Cape May home to the Wildwood campus. This year, however, the school district reduced the number of buses. Since then, Frey said, it's been a hectic time for her family to get to and from school. By taking the bus to school, I could do schoolwork while going home and my family and I could save gas money, she said. With the New Jersey state budget set to be released in July, non-public school advocates are being urged to contact their state legislators in the next two weeks to urge an increase in transportation funding from $1,000 to at least $1,150 per student. If everyone would take five minutes to express their concerns, New Jersey's leaders would have to pay attention, said Sister Rose DeFleury, Assistant Superintendent of Catholic Schools in the Diocese of Camden. Bishop's Column. In his column, Bishop Dennis Sullivan shares parts of the homily he preached at the baccalaureate masses for the five Catholic diocesan high schools. He says, Graduation is a time to look forward to a new beginning. You are moving to a future, to an unknown future. As your bishop, I want to share some advice with you. It is this, as you move on, as you go forward, do so with enthusiasm. Enthusiasm, eager for your future. Energetic for what is to come. With interest and joy for all that tomorrow holds. Live with enthusiasm, be with God. You will not only live a fuller life, but also a happier life. With God, you will survive the little deaths that life throws at you. With God, you will handle the bad cards that life deals you. If you have enthusiasm, if you have God, you will rise from those deaths. If you have God, you will manage the difficulties that happen. Class of 2022. Across the Diocese of Camden, more than 800 students graduated from Catholic schools, 605 from diocesan high schools, and more than 200 from private institutions. Combined, more than $145,298,050 in scholarships were distributed. During each school ceremonies, graduates, their parents, and administrators shed tears of happiness, hugs of friendship, and reflective thoughts on the past and future. We are so proud of the class of 2022. This class had a very different high school experience, Camden Catholic High School Principal Heather Creasy said after the June 3rd graduation, referring to learning during the COVID-19 pandemic. They treated each day with grace, resilience, and ended up very successful. For these stories and others, visit catholicstarherald.org. I'm Dave Hernandez for the Catholic Star Herald.